What kind of damage did this circuit breaker sustain when it had a big spark blow out the bottom of it? We're going to find out by taking this thing apart today. You know, in my last video, I kept saying the inverter failed and then that caused the circuit breaker to fail. Well, I, I was corrected uh, by a YouTuber and uh, he, he was correct um, in that the circuit breaker opened, which is what it's meant to do. Uh, it, the circuit breaker didn't fail. <laughs> But we are going to drill this thing out because, man, those sparks that came out the bottom, those were, those were pretty big sparks. Uh, there's a little space here that's open in the bottom of the circuit breaker. And we'll, uh, yeah, so let's drill out these rivets and see what we see. Before we actually drill it, let's take a look visually at the outside here. and the bottom terminals. Now this is the opening where the sparks actually came out. So I don't see any damage on the outside. To start, let's just go ahead and remove these uh, screws. Now these are the panel mount screws. These are what usually attach the circuit breaker in a fixed location. You can see they're nice brass inserts. Okay, I think I got the case loose enough. Let's open this up. Yep. Came off. All right. So now we're inside the circuit breaker. What are we looking at? <laughs> Here is the contact point. It's going through these pieces of metal. Not sure what they're for. Let's go ahead and press this down and see it. So as we press it down, it makes contact. Kind of had a cam action there to hold it in place. Yeah, so does anybody know what this... My best guess here is that maybe these things are like a shield to suppress the spark from blowing out. So when it pops, boom, it opens. And it has quite a long distance here, but that's the point with DC. As I understand it, let's take a close look at this contact point. Right down here on the bottom contact, you see where it's all dark? Oh, so that's the magnet. Oh, so that's what it is. Okay. There were several people in the comments who mentioned there were two ways that a circuit breaker can pop. One is thermal uh, and one is a magnetic trip. And so this coil to me looks like it's probably an electromagnet it looks like this thick piece of wire here is always going to have electricity flowing through it, but maybe it just takes a certain amount of amperage in order to actually have enough strength to pull this piece of metal down. When it does, it trips. Another little spring is located right in there on that. And another one down here on the very bottom. So there, so far three springs. Four, another little one in there. So lots of little springs. Oh, you know what? Uh, the other method, the, the temperature, maybe has to do with this piece of brass. I don't know. I thought an electromagnet had to have an iron core, but that's just because it's yellow, it makes me think brass. But maybe when this gets hot, this part here expands up and gets closer and closer to that contact. But I'm not sure. So besides the corrosion down here on these contacts, this one and this one, the rest of this still looks okay. It doesn't look blown out. 
So I'll bet I probably could have kept using it. Uh, but I won't now that I've drilled it. <laughs> there you go guys I don't know if there's a thermal break to this or not uh, it just I think this is an electromagnet just to pull this contactor down I kind of pried everything apart sorry I ran out of juice in my video camera here are some still shots I kept playing with it and snipped off the bottom it turns out this is a brass sleeve and it has oil in it and also it has this ferrous rod so the it's a steel rod that's stuck to a magnet. When I snipped the top, I was able to pull out a spring. And so it looks like the spring would keep that ferrous rod pushed down uh, away from that kind of spring-loaded switch uh, unless it was energized and then it would kind of pull it up. Uh, so maybe that has something to do with the thermal delay. Hey, if you guys like this, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thanks for watching. Bye.